I bet you've been using Spacer a ton in your SwiftUI code, but oftentimes there's a more elegant solution to moving your views around on the screen. Let me show you how. Let's say you want to place this text view in the bottom trailing corner of your screen. Now a naive approach would be using a V stack with a spacer above the text and an H stack with a spacer to the left of the text. So let me quickly show you how I mean that. I would create a V stack and then put a spacer above the text. So now it's pushed to the bottom edge and then I want to push it to the trailing edge as well. So I will embed the text in an H stack and put another spacer in there. And now the text is pushed to the trailing bottom edge. Now let's also add some uh, padding to the text just so it's nice and readable on the screen. And then in reality, you would probably also put some uh, empty lines in between here just so it's a bit nicer to look at. So with these empty lines, it would be, let's see, nine lines of code. Minus two would be seven lines of code, minus the padding, six lines of code, just to position this view in the bottom trailing corner. Now we can get rid of all of that and just uh, undo everything. So we just have our text element back and there's a much easier approach that we can use here where we don't need the spacers and we don't need the stacks either. What we can do is just use the good old frame modifier, which isn't only used to define the size of your view. You can also use the frame modifier to move your view around on the screen. So let me show you how, since we care about both the vertical and the horizontal alignment, we need the maximum width and the maximum height parameter. So I'll just type in here M A for max width, M A for max height. And then, and this is where the magic happens, we also need the alignment parameter. So another A here. This way the autocomplete will only select those arguments that we actually care about. Now, when I press enter, I have these three arguments. And Every time you want to use this trick, you have to specify the max width and max height to be dot infinity. And then the alignment can be whatever you want view, your view to be placed as. So in our example, we want a bottom trailing alignment, just like that. And now it's pushed to the bottom trailing corner and we can add back our padding. And this right here is just a single line of code no stacks, no spacers. Now, of course, this isn't applicable everywhere in your app. For example, if you also want to have views above this text, then it probably makes sense to actually use a V stack. Same if you want to have views to the leading or trailing side of this text, then it probably makes sense to use an H stack. There are other solutions to the same problem as well though, and they might be even easier. So let's say you want to have this text or whatever view it is, I'm just using a text here as an example, to be on top of another view and in the bottom trailing position. So we would, for example, have color.red as our background. And you might uh, initially want to create a Z stack here and then do all of the V stack, H stack stuff here again. Let me quickly fill that out so we don't waste your precious time here. All right, so I've quickly implemented what I wanted to show you. We have a red background view here. This could really be anything. This could be your entire SwiftUI screen right there. And then we have our text element with some padding pushed to the bottom trailing corner. And we once again used a V stack with a spacer to push it to the bottom and an H stack with a spacer to push it to the trailing edge. Now in this example, we could once again use the frame modifier and push everything around, but that would also influence our Z stack, of course. What I would do personally instead is copy this text and then get rid of everything except for the color, which represents whatever is, um, yeah, whatever is our view that we want to overlay the text on. And overlay is already the keyword here. So we will use the overlay view modifier and we will use this overload here with the alignment parameter. Because then we can just say we want a bottom trailing alignment. And as our content, we once again have our text with some padding and you will see this is the exact same outcome 
but we only use one view modifier here, an overlay with a bottom trailing alignment instead of two stacks and two spacers. So why should you use any of these approaches? Well, in my opinion, if you have multiple views in your screen that are vertically or horizontally aligned, it for sure makes sense to use V-stack, H-stack, or of course, uh, lazy stacks as well, or a grid or whatever, a naive implementation, I would call it. But if you only want to provide an overlay or it's the single element on the screen, then using a frame or a overlay modifier might just be a bit nicer. It might not always be the best solution, but when you use it, this can declutter your views a bunch. I would especially use it instead of just having an H stack. If I just want to push a view to the trailing corner, I would just give it a frame with an infinite max width and a trailing alignment. I don't have to create an H stack and a spacer there just to move my view to the trailing edge of the screen.